How you doing, folks? Today I wanted to make a video about my thoughts on the new YouTube policy. Um, at the current time, I have 223 subscribers. The new monetization monetation ah monetization policies for YouTube is you have to, for your channel to be monetized and you make money from your videos you have to have 1000 subscribers and have 4000 hours of view time within the last 12 months like i said i have 2000 and or 223 subscribers that's it so i'm going to lose mine and in the last i've had my channel for 20 months right now and i've only had 3000 hours of views so I'm about halfway there on the view time one thing I do realize is if you have a thousand subscribers and if you're making a video every week like I do except for those I haven't been making any lately because it's been 15 degrees for about the last month but normally I do the at least the nine months out of the year I am making a video every weekend sometimes two I average about one video per week as long as you're doing that and you have a thousand subscribers there's no way you should have to worry about the 4,000 hours of view time in the last 12 months. It will automatically most likely be in that zone or possibly higher. So uh, yeah, it is kind of, it's, it's aggravating in a way, but all you got to do is keep your head up man. and I figure it's going to take me probably another year to two even maybe three years before i'm able to do this again and i it, it's not that i really care about the money but here's the thing i one of my goals was just to make an extra little income you know like a hundred or two hundred dollars a month and the reason the real reason i wanted to do that was because i want to provide you guys with better videos by me having uh a little extra money per month I could have uh, took and guided fishing tours on certain lakes around here uh, I could have been provided with better equipment uh, having a little extra money to travel a little further away from home on a weekend you know and go to new places and just uh, instead of doing the same thing over and over and going to the same places over and over so that's what really sucks for me uh, because I was really wanting to get out there and do go to some new places I've never been, uh, especially down in Arkansas. I've, been, I've never fished Arkansas, and uh, I just moved here two years ago, and I'm only 15 minutes from the Arkansas border, so there's tons of stuff within an hour away from my home that I've never hit. I've fished everywhere from St. Louis all the way to the Arkansas border, and about 100 miles on each side, but I've never fished really above St. Louis or below where I live at all. And... Uh, so, you know, that would have been nice. Um, as far as ever making a living from YouTube, there is a few people that do it. Yeah, if you're John B., probably Lake Fort guy, uh, Bama Bass, uh, the, the, the Asian dude from Philly. He, there, there is a few people out there. But I'm going to tell you this, don't ever expect to do that because it, it's very rare. Uh, in fact, the, the Asian guy... Uh, from Philly, he is the only person that I know that probably does that only fishes in his local area. All these other guys, honestly, they were probably already spoiled as a child and already had money. That's what because there's no way they can afford to, to travel all around there in a hotel one day in Nebraska and then the next day they're in Texas or Mexico. And you know, they got thirty thousand dollar boats. Uh, they most likely had money before, so not to burst your bubble, but the. It, I mean, there there is a chance that it can happen for you. I'm not going to say it it can't happen, but it the chances are so rare. Uh, you know, you don't want to set your goals too high. First off, you know, you, the best thing we can hope for is just to have a little extra money in our pockets. You know, I would have been happy with a hundred dollars a month extra. Uh, you know, like I said, just to provide better videos for you guys, better equipment. Uh, like I said, go to Real Foot Lake and, and pay a guide to actually take me out to provide better fishing and create better videos and stuff like that. So that's what I was looking at in, in, in hopes of doing. Uh, but like I said, now it's probably going to take me another at least two or three years because I've had my channel for 20 months. I started it in March of 2016 and I only got 200 and 
23 subscribers in you might as well say 20 months it's been about 20 months so it's taken me that long just to get 223 so to get a thousand it could take several more years but you never know uh you know as the saying goes the faster something the more something grows the faster it grows so it could just take off out of nowhere as long as you keep making videos constantly and do a variety you know fish for carp fish for catfish just don't fish for largemouth bass every trip at the same place you know try to do different things to get the attention of different viewers some people out there may only like carp fishing or or cat fishing or smallmouth or crappie I notice out of all my videos the ones that get the most views for some reason is the crappie videos I have one crappie video that has 7,000 views uh, and and I would have to say largemouth probably get a lot of views but some of these other ones they really don't get the attention of people because they can't relate to it um, so you, you want to try a variety of things and see if that helps you and uh, one trick I've learned is is I subscribe to a lot of channels that are fishing channel related and especially the ones that have 500 or less subscribers because they're more likely to notice that you subscribe to them because it will show up in their notifications if you subscribe to a guy that's got already got 50,000 subscribers he's not gonna care well it ain't that he don't care he's not gonna notice it because he has so many notifications he can't keep up with all that he's not even gonna notice that you subscribe to him and he's not gonna subscribe to you but if you start out with these smaller channels they're gonna notice that you subscribe to them and then it's a way more likely of a chance that they're going to add you also and you and it's easier to communicate with them people and, and do collaborations and whatnot um so don't let this new policy get you down and to be honest you're not going to make enough money anyway if you got under a thousand subscribers i've like i said my channel's been going for 20 months and i've only made 21 dollars in 20 months so that is an average of only about 50 cents a week so unless you got a thousand, that would be times five of what I got right now. That would still, I wouldn't even have made, I've, I, if I had five times the subscribers I did now in that two year period that I've had my channel, I would have only made $100. Um, so, you know, that I think I forgot, but I think that's the threshold for you to even, for them to send you a check, it has to be a minimum of $100 for that 30 day pay period. So I wouldn't even have got, one check yet or barely have gotten one check yet even if i did have a thousand subscribers so in a way it's it's really not worth it like i said if you don't have that amount of it and a thousand subscribers ain't going to get you jack crap to be honest you really ain't it you can't go out there and quit your job i'll tell you that you might if you got a thousand subscribers barely probably make a hundred dollars a year if you got ten thousand subscribers then you might make about a hundred dollars a month and that like i said would be an, a good extra income for me to provide you guys some videos and stuff so i'm just gonna have to be patient so is everybody else you, you people out there that got small channels um there is a few fishing channels and it's very rare that i got a hundred thousand subscribers and every video they make they're getting 40 to eighty thousand views like john b lake fork guy uh bama bass youtube fishing vi vids that guy uh you know then people probably do make a living from it but don't know you can't expect for that to happen uh them guys have been on here probably for many years probably 10 years who knows i don't i don't look at when they started but some of them people have been on here for 10 years and they've just kept working at it and working at it and uh you know they've been on here long enough that it has paid off for them you can't expect to make a channel and to, uh, make a living from doing this it's just uh, like I said, it's just a rare chance, but all you can do is just cry and, and try to get that extra income. Uh, but you know, I'm going to have to just look forward to being demonetized for a while, possibly a couple years, but I'm still going to make doing what I'm doing. Like I've always done because I do it because I enjoy it first off. And it gives me personal memories of all my fishing trips. That's actually why I started doing it. Because I got copies of all of them on DVD and, and my computer. Because it bring, 
because I can show my family and I can, it, it keeps personal memories for myself and her uh, of all the trips that we've done. But I, the reason I actually decided to start putting them on YouTube was in case I ever lost them, in case our, what if our house burns down and we lose all them DVDs or my computer uh, crashes and I didn't have copies of them. That way I always have copies of them. I can always go to YouTube and download my videos again if I absolutely have to using YouTube Red. All right, guys. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. Like I said, just keep your hopes up. You know, it does. It, it like I said, it doesn't pay off anyway unless you have a thousand subscribers. And remember what I said: if you got a thousand subscribers, you're gonna have 400 hours of view time for the last 12 months, which was one of the things, or, or 4,000. I'm sorry, 400, 4,000 hours. Uh, but uh, I researched into it, uh, you know, looking at my dashboard, and I can tell you that if you have a thousand subscribers, it will most likely naturally be way over uh, the thing for you to monetize again. So, all right, uh, I may be going this Saturday if it's 57 like it's supposed to be, and uh, I'm going to get out there and try for some Sauger and Walleye on the Black River again. Uh, until it warms up in March, and then I'll start doing some crappie fishing again. All right, so I hope to see you. Look for a new video of mine on Sunday, possibly late Saturday night. All right, you guys take care.